What's up guys? It's Jen Brown. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a thrift haul, uh, as the title says. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was pausing there for. It's just a thrift haul. Um, this is an accumulation thrift haul. This was not all from one trip. This was, I think about three different Goodwill trips um, and then an online couple of things I got from ThreadUp. Um, I know they sponsor a lot of people so this is definitely not sponsored um, just to clear that up. So the first thing this is backwards. I got this gingham skirt which is really cute. No, that's backwards. No, that's backwards. There's like, there's so many tags. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. I've only worn this once, so I was really confused. The pockets kind of take up a lot of the side. So that's why I kept getting confused. It's really cute. It's a Korean brand. So I don't really know how this wound up in small town. Texas, but I love it. It's really cute. Uh, so that was, that was really exciting for me. I picked it up and I instantly looked at my boyfriend and I was like, is this too little house on the prairie? I don't care. This one, mm, we'll do that one in a minute. We'll, we'll throw a really exciting one in in a second. Um, this one is just a plain, long, really long, gray cardigan. Um, it's an extra large, but I don't care. The brand is called Halogen. That sounds vaguely familiar, but it's like, it's nice, but it doesn't seem like a really expensive brand or anything. But they really like AC where I work, so I freeze to death all the time, so I basically wear a cardigan every day, and I like to have options, and I like to have ones that go with my outfit. And I just thought the shape was really interesting. Um, it looks different on than I thought, but it's it's really soft. It's actually from World Market, which I didn't know that they sold clothes there. I haven't been to World Market in so long because their stuff is just kind of overpriced. But yeah, I just thought it's really cute, um, but it's just different than everything else I have. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this next one's another just kind of like basic cardigan. like a multicolor, it's not really like space dye, but it's a multicolor knit, but kind of like an oatmeal color. And it has this flap around it and big pockets. And it's kind of like an old man's sweater, but it's just, I tend to like these oversized ones more. I have a lot of the kind of really tight fitted to you ones, which can be cute, but I, because I wear them to be warm and cozy, I just kind of want them to be a little oversized. So that's just a good like basic for that. This I thought was like this really beautiful like foresty green colored skirt. The tag says DSCP Garrison Collection. And when I look that up online, all I can find are military jackets and I typed this website that is on the tag and it takes you to a website where you buy clothes for people in the military. So vintage or no, this was like $5 at Goodwill and I think this is like the dress skirt for somebody's military uniform, for their like dress uniform. Um, so this dress I've had for a while, but this was um, again, just something that is unlike anything I own really. I don't know what that says. This is a petite medium, so I think it's probably a little shorter. I mean, it's supposed to be, I'm not like super tall, but I'm 5'8", so I'm tallish. But um, it's just really cute. It's just like a cute, fun, summery thing that I can throw on and don't have to put that much effort to, into. I love the handkerchief print and the fact that the zipper goes all the way down it. Um, okay, these I actually found on the same day, which is, crazy. Uh, so this is 
from Catwalk Studio, Los Angeles. Um, this is a faux leather, like ninja turtle green bomber jacket. I wanted a jacket this color since I was probably 12. And the British version of what not to wear before the American, I think before the American one was on TV, um, I was watching with my sister and they bought the girl in the video a jacket this color and I thought it was the sickest thing I'd ever seen and I was like that looks like the Ninja Turtles. I want that jacket. But this is just like in great shape like sometimes jackets like this at thrift stores are kind of like, eh, like stretched out and have scratches in them or whatever and buying them on eBay. I had terrible luck. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I have some issues, but this is just like fantastic. I love it. So I found this blazer. I usually, I've been really into blazers. I really like the oversized ones that are kind of like baggier. They just feel more casual because I um, do not need to look like super suited up for my job. Um, I'm more of like a casual teacher. Um, but I do like to wear blazers, and so I was looking in the men's section, and I actually, I think this is actually women's, um, but it was in the men's section. This is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren blazer. It looks neat. I can never figure out if it's navy or black. I even held it up against a black blazer. That's probably in front of my microphone. I even held it up against a black blazer last night, and I still can't tell. Um, I tried to look up how much this costs normally, but because there are like 12 branches of Ralph Lauren stuff, I could not figure it out. I also, the coolest part, I think this might be vintage because, good lord, the buttons. It could just be vintage style buttons, but the monogram on the pocket looks pretty old and the crown, I don't know if I can make that come across on here. The crown is like three dimensional. It like sticks out and is poofy, uh, which I think is just really cool, regardless if it's vintage or not. But I tried to find this blazer and I couldn't, um, but I know that even their like lowest tier of blazer is still pretty expensive. This was $4 from Goodwill. I did go try it on just because I wanted to, but I was like, I have to own this. I don't care. I don't care if it looks like a dress. I don't care. I need it. Um, I did actually though, because it had another reason I, ooh, hello. Um, another reason I think it's vintage. There we go. Um, is because the shoulder pads were absolutely insane. Um, I actually cut them out so that when I wear it, the shoulder like comes down like this shoulder um, and they're not just like, Pow. Uh, I just, I don't feel okay pulling, trying to pull that off. <laughs> this chair, I don't think it's gonna be big enough for all of this, moving on. So the last piece I'm gonna show you, hopefully the light figures itself out, <laughs> um, is from Thread Up. So, as I said earlier with the leather jacket issue, every time I buy a new black one, I haven't bought a new one. I always buy them off of eBay and even if they look really good condition, the next year they're always falling apart. Um, so this year I go to wear my black leather jacket that I just bought I think a year and a half ago um, that I thought was new from eBay but it wasn't and the leather on the sleeves was just like falling away. So. I wanted to get a nicer one. I thought I would check out ThreadUp. I found this, um, I actually don't know this brand, but I think it's from Neiman Marcus is where the tag said it was from. Um, I don't shop there, but it is very nice. Um, I own one pair of shoes, I think, that costs more than the original price of this jacket that I bought on sale. Um, but I do not own anything this nice, really. And I was really stoked. Um, if you do not know how ThreadUp works, they give you an estimated price of what the thing costs. But this one was like estimated 
$79. I got it for 20. And I was like, that is such a good deal. That's so cool. I was so excited. Um, so I bought it. It fits beautifully. It's wonderful. It's magic. I love this jacket. I look at the tag. This jacket was originally priced at $170. I can't get over it. I tell everyone who happens to be like, oh, nice jacket. They don't care. I tell them that story. Now I've told all of you, so maybe it'll be out of my system. This was my first like haul for hauls sake video. Um, I love to watch these. I think they're really fun and I just thought it would be fun to do one. So please let me know if you like it. Um, I appreciate you watching it. Thank you so much and have a great day. See you next time.